friggin' depressed every night. You're stuck in neutral. I'm depressed, and you're out here ranting like an idiot. No, I'm just setting them straight. You're not doing anything. You're not convincing anyone. You're here for your own entertainment and enlightenment. You got that right. He's right. But I'm breaking He's right. up the echo chamber, aren't I? Not really. Oh, really? Really? I'm whining and complaining at you and the other man. Man. Why can't we get out here and just stick our head in the echo chamber? Joe. When we slap each other. You're just head. like sticking your hand in a bucket of water and pulling it out and expecting some kind of impression to remain. What do you Not mean? You're an idiot. What are the people you have on your side, Possum? I mean, I'm surprised that you haven't done a better job at disciplining them. Yes, it's not my job to discipline anybody, Joe. I merely suggest things like you should grow up. That's fine. But no, it's a big problem. The people that you've inherited. You've inherited Harry. Okay, he's illiterate. This Richie guy. Which uh, Joe? I'm going to say the name because you people are too stupid. Michael conspiracy theorist. He, he freely admits QAnon is real. Okay, these guys are way out there. There's no reasonableness to any of them. So you're so desperate for someone to talk to on the fucking radio that you're okay with it. Why well, are you here? I'm here to set it straight. And you're the arbiter of truth, justice, and the American way, I suppose. No, it's a debate. It's an open debate. Come on, Joe Biden, we had enough. Wait, who's the moderator? Oh, they were slandering you the other day, AKB. Hey, they were slandering the hell out of you because Mikey said you were gay. Um, I wish I was. <laughs> He's stupid. He's well, gay stupid. people, don't they get laid stupid. all the time? Stupid, stupid. Uh, I don't know, but... Yes, the chances of getting a date are doubled, I guess, if you go both ways. I don't know. Well, think about it. Guys, like, just want to do it, you know, a lot of times. And, um, so, yeah, yeah, two guys, I could imagine. Uh, but, no, I'm not. <clears throat> no. Well, it doesn't matter if you are or not. I mean, look at Paul Pelosi. So he got hit in the head with a, a, by a nut bag with a hammer. And all of a sudden, they say he was their gay lover, you know? Oh, he they don't like uh, Pelosi, but see, it just shows the level of dealing with. For holding he got hit in the head with a nut bag. The crazy man that broke in had a hammer. Okay, and, and Paul Pelosi was fighting to get control of the hammer, you dummy. He's got a whole dying receiver. You know the Democrats. Uh, let the craziness begin. Democrats are gay. Did you scare all the Nazis? KFAD day. And they are in all kinds of milk. Oh, sorry. Did you scare all the Nazis away back there? Oh, the real tree Nazis. And now we have a Marxist here. Well, it was better with you. When you play, I heard that night it was uh, it was Mike and Matt, and they were going at like the very root hub of of uh, their uh, philosophies there, man. That was there's there's like a 180 degree phase shift between the two of them. They kind of realize it, you know, on the on the fringe. Like, why is the full on Nazi and it's right, like, right with it? So we you know white supremacists, and the other guy just doesn't want to kind of come out and say it. But on the other hand, he's just flirting with everything that has to do with cannibalism. So, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's interesting listening, I give you. Democrats take it in head to make money. Yeah, Democrats make boring talk radio, I guess. They do. And fake news. They just stop talking unions and, you know, try to promote, you know, coherence and stability. And that just isn't all that interesting.
Okay, but you still really didn't answer my question because, as I said, if it's a group of people here that discuss things and they're all like-minded, why do you want to uh, impose yourself and put yourself into positions here that you're not wanted? You know what I mean? These people have their own opinions. You're not going to change it, and probably they're not going to change you. So if you're unwanted on the frequency, why wouldn't you find a frequency you're wanted on and go talk with like-minded people? I kind of like the hassle Joe about... Uh, oh, okay, yeah. I was up a bit. I like, 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 like Joe. What's up? I'm trying to get that answer from Joe. The, number two, I disagree with your premise. I listen to you guys a great deal, and don't get out here. And I don't interfere. And I don't because. And the reason I'm interested in what you guys have to say to each other is I want to hear the effect of the propaganda. I want to hear how much, to what degree, and to which. Yeah. I can kind of tell which one was, you know, which Fox shows. And a lot of people listen to Tucker. Um, oh, and, you know, like Mark Wood. I know. Uh, I know who's a big fan Give of me Mark shot, Wood. Give a shot at him. And, uh, so, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm really down with it, man. And then late at night, I listen to them. Mm -hmm. uh, 770. Oh, but I'm just interested from a psychological difference, you know, like uh, I'm doing like a study, you know, on, on how misinformation and disinformation, how deeply it can affect people and their lives. Well, you act like the stuff that you listen to is propaganda. Well, you listen to that. Okay, so listen all you want. But as I said, if you're not welcome, and all you're to do is create some kind of uh, uh, havoc that you feel as though is actually not. You know, why come on? Why, why do that? Just listen if that's what you want to do to find out people's opinions. But don't come on a frequency that you're really not wanted, and you see what happens when certain people come on. It just goes overboard, and everybody starts playing music, and everybody starts flipping out one side, the other side. So if you're really not wanted here, and if nobody's inviting you to stay and talk, why why must you force yourself on, on other people's opinions? Okay. Again, this is how a debate works. I started He's with invited to you to put it out there that you were interested in having a discussion with somebody who was able to have a rational thing discussion. Now it appears you've changed that position, which you are absolutely capable of doing. Number two, I disagree. I listen far, far more than you hear me. And number three, when I get on here, as I said, I often am trying point the antenna the other way and ask Joe why he's hassling you and he technically went away when I did that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this is what I get from you, Joe, okay? Well, see, uh, you're not going to change hey, Joe's Joe mind either. He's, he's got his own opinions and uh, he's not a dumb guy, so what he's come up with in his own mind is what he believes. And I do believe sometimes he just enjoys screwing with people and just to get a rise out of people. But, you know, you're not going to change his mind. So why come on and, and even try to talk to him and get him changed? Because you're not. Um, as for discussion, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with discussion things. I just don't want to really get into a hardcore discussion about uh, the left, the right, anything like that. Right now I'm only talking to you. Uh, why you would consider being on a frequency that you're unwanted on rather than just spinning the dial and talking to people that are like-minded. See, the guys here are more like-minded, so they all talk with each other and they all get along pretty good because they have similar views. Why do you want to inject yourself here and create that problem? But that's neither here nor there because you're not giving a real answer, you know? Um, if I wasn't wanted on a frequency, I don't think I'd key up on that frequency. I know you guys talk on 7200. I know there's other frequencies. I don't go there. You go Why there. don't I go there? Because I know what I'm going to expect to happen. It's going to become a problem. People are going to... So I don't go to frequencies where you guys talk about what you talk about. That's yours. Well, I don't go on frequencies you talk very much. 
Number one. Number two, I've already answered the question, and I'm going to go away. I agree with you. I half and half kind of agree with you. And because of the Heisenberg prison, first of all, as you know, I'm affecting what I'm trying to measure. So I'll leave you alone. Uh, I've gotten the message. And, uh, so, yeah, there you go. That's what you got when you said you were interested in having a discussion with a liberal. And I would say, good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Grow up. Yeah. Good luck with Marxist TV and actually would happen to me. I'm, I'm proud. I may well be listening to a decent chance. There you go. Well, I appreciate that. And you know something? I don't put down you and I don't put down Joe. At least I try not to put down people uh, uh, over on that side right now because, yeah, I just I don't feel like it. You know, I don't want to get that craziness. But whatever these guys do, man, is their own thing. But you, uh, yeah, just kind of change the dial if you hate us and just want to really cause havoc. But you have a good night, man. And I'm sure someday we will discuss it further when I'm a little bit more awake and feel like talking. Oh, I hear you. Take care. See you later. Hey, Kenny. Well, we finally found someone that could run Joe off. Marxism. <laughs> hey, Mike, thanks for the compliment. How you doing, Matt?